Morning guys, we're on Hebrews chapter 1, reading from verse 10 to 12. And we're still in the context of um, the supremacy of Christ, and specifically that he is far greater than the angels. And so in Revelation, it talks about Jesus being the Alpha and the uh, Omega, the beginning and the end, who is and who was and who is to come. And we're going to look at these verses as Jesus being the creator God who created everything, but also he's the one who comes and destroys everything. He's the one who gives and he's the one who takes away. And so our lives are completely in his hands. Either we will be destroyed and thrown into, into a lake of fire to burn forever, or we'll be risen with him and be with him in heaven. Job 1.21 says, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked shall I return. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And so God has given us life, but God has appointed a time to take that life. And so in, in Hebrews 10, I mean, sorry, 1 verse 10, it says, And you, Lord, in the beginning, it's talking about Jesus, uh, laid the foundation of the earth. Jesus made the earth, and the heavens and the works of your hands. Verse 11. They will perish, but you remain. They all will become old, will become like an old garment. You see, this earth is even now um, groaning under the weight of sin, and it's, it's slowly um, perishing, just like our bodies are, are wasting away and becoming like an old garment. This earth is also. Verse 12. And like a mantle, you will roll them up, like a garment, they will also be changed. But you are the same, and your years will not come to an end. And so the earth will come to an end, but Jesus will not come to an end. He's eternal, because God is eternal. And the wonderful thing is, God has made us eternal like Him. And and we um, have that type of, we're made in His image, and that's part of that image that we have um, been created in. So we will live forever. These bodies that we're in now will perish and go to the grave, but our soul will live forever. And so it's important we know um, that we're not going to be landing in the fire, but that we will be going to heaven. Um, and so um, these, these scriptures again, the writer of the Hebrews has taken them directly from um, the Old Testament. Psalm 102 says the same thing. Um, of old you laid the foundation of the earth and the heavens are the works of your hands they will perish but you will remain they will all wear out like a garment you will change them like a robe and they will pass away but you are the same and your years have no end and so um, in 2 Peter we read more specifically how does this world get destroyed what actually happens to it it's amazing that God's given us insight into exactly how this, this world will be destroyed. And 2 Peter 3 verse 10 says, But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, in which the heavens will pass away with a roar, and the elements will be destroyed with intense heat, and the earth and its works will be burnt up. And it's almost like this big explosion and a roar, like an atomic bomb just explodes this whole earth and becomes nothing. It just becomes... Um, burnt up and so we know the end um, it's pointless spending all our energy and time into this world if you know it's going to be burnt up but rather spend your energy and time in eternal things that you know will last forever and so that's always a good question to ask yourself where are you investing your time and energy into this world or into the kingdom of God <clears throat> 2 Peter 3 verse 11 goes on to say since all these things are to be destroyed. So now that we know that this world is going to be burned by fire, um, what sort of people ought you be? That's a good question. Knowing that this world is going to be burnt up, knowing that we are eternal and we may land up in that fire, he goes on to say, you are to be holy in conduct and godliness. Because the works... Um, of holiness and godliness and righteousness and works of Jesus are eternal and that's what we want to invest in um, looking for and hastening the coming of the day of the God because of which the heavens will be destroyed by burning and the elements will melt 
with intense heat. And it's the end of verse 12 of 2 Peter. And so we need to be watchful, waiting for Jesus. We need to be making sure that we know where we're going. And we need to be investing our time in the right areas and not wasting it on something that's going to be burnt up in the end. So I trust you have a wonderful day. God bless.